What up, tribe? It's your girl Raji, and today is Friday. It's a Venus day, and the moon is waning. Gibbous in Scorpio. So let's just get right into it. So we still got Rocco. Keep them squares about your circle going on, and there is a reason why. Okay, so there is a Aquarius and a Cancer in your energy that you need to eradicate and move on from. But let me not get ahead of myself. So there was something you were being stubborn. Um, there was some stagnation in your life because of partnerships and friendships that you have chosen to walk away from. And these energies like put you in a state of just constant, just um, having to restart and rebirth and redo. And that's because you were a sacrifice. You were making sacrifices to these energies. And now you need to say, forget that. I'm fucking with myself this time. Pisces energy here. Now, you are uh, having endings come because you are healing. You're healing from these energies. And because you are healing, they are having ego deaths. They are having tower moments. Like, you are, you saying, forget it. You letting it burn like usher, baby. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um... But yeah, these people ain't tribe, they ain't gang. And because you've recognized this, you will now have a victory in your current timeline. All right, that's what's up. But in your present energy, you have um, uh, the grandchildren and Aquarius in reverse, and they are experiencing some delays. They're experiencing a major ego death and a loss. Um, and you need to continue to protect your energy against this person with the nine of sticks. Yeah, continue to do that because this person has some like some plans like they trying to be funny with this page of pentacles here they they don't want you to advance very quickly this person is unhinged like they're not grounded at all with the hermit in reverse virgo energy and they are making several bad judgment moves several bad calls uh libra here and that is the truth this may be um again it's a libra aquarius or a gemini but i'm having i pulled strong aquarius today so queen of swords yeah, you need to be smart. You need to realize that this person is not who they say that they are and keep them squares about your circle. Okay, so you they don't want you to be able to defend yourself. Um, they um, they want they don't want you to be consumed with the idea of that they're not trustworthy so you need to trust with your with your guys and your ancestors and your team is telling you because these people are not for you they're against you so yeah basically you sacrificing yourself to keep these connections going um and you need to trust in your spirit team when they telling you that these people not for you now the burdens for the collective are being lifted like i said continue to ask your guys and your spirit team to reveal these energies and to help you keep them up out your circle because you know they're they're being exposed continue to ask for help in exposing these energies continue to ask for help to overcome these challenges because you are the empress you do have a whole army behind you ready to help you because you have a purpose um don't be so focused on the memories you know what i'm saying don't be so focused on the memories um what you need to be focused on is the fact that you had to strink yourself to deal with these energies and that attacked your confidence so stay confident about what you're doing stay confident about how you're moving forward with this this cutoff at this time you know hey it's eclipse season yeah, there could be up to three people with the three of baskets that are intimidated by your good fortune um, that are coming forward. And they don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you healed. They don't want to see you with a family. They don't want to see your ass with no money. They they just don't want to see you get bigger. They, they don't like that because they feel like you having money and you having st a stable home and a life takes away, you know, you're not having that takes away your strength. Leo energy here. So a Leo could be involved as well. So we've got the Knight of Wands here letting you know you need to be fearless. You need to be independent. You need to keep going forward with what you're doing. Like, don't turn back now. This is not the time to play with these people. Don't even engage with their ass because, again, they are trying to take your courage away from you. Again, heavy Leo energy. So that could be the third person that's involved, a Leo. Be mindful of the deals you're making in this higher timeline, okay? Now, 
what it all says, what it, when it's all said and done, um, you've decided to walk away from these close relationships and these people. We've got cancer energy heavy here as well because they were a bad investment. There's no reciprocity with these energies, okay? And they're holding secrets. There are a lot of secrets going on with the paw card. They got a lot of secrets. What I said, a lot of illusions and delusions with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. And you need to take the gift of spirit, you know, to heal and reject all these lies and these delusions that these people are trying to put forth because it's not what it is. Like they're trying to make it seem a way that it's really not. So release those burdens. Let those burdens go. You know, you you need to transform and you need to like not deal with these dark energies um, in a way that it's not going to allow you to advance. Everybody needs to get in touch with their shadow, but you don't need to let that motherfucker lead, period. So go ahead and heal. Heal from those people. Heal from those places. Heal from those things so that you can have a better life. And, you know, now is not the time to be collaborating. So, yeah, these people do not want, you know, they want to continue to be in your life. They want to continue to be in your energy they want this the way you were going they want that shit to keep going they they have this narrative in their head about who you are and they want to keep perpetuating that cycle over and over and over again you being small makes them feel big so you need to move forward and find peace in your life and that is definitely confirmed here when i asked spirit was if after retrograde maybe could it be restored spirit said no we got the ancestor card in reverse letting you know there will be no reason birth to this and it's time for you to heal and move on and grow past these energies yeah and that's the truth with the ace of swords ace of knives on this deck coming forward they're trying to take your power from you and this could also be happening during aries season and you need to have confidence and you need to grow and realize that you can do this shit on your own again heavy with the aquarius energy so if this message resonates, don't forget to follow, like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. I pray this helps someone out on their journey, especially with Venus also having to do with friendships and relationships as well. Um, and if you need a private reading, definitely look me up on thecushconcierge.com. I'll be more than happy to work with you today. I do have some same-day appointments available. I love you guys, and we'll chat soon. Y'all. I'm about to upload this reading to the Kush Concierge YouTube. Make sure you subscribe so that you can get the notification of when the full reading comes out. Because when I tell you whoever is in your energy, <clears throat> be it a Aquarius, a Cancer, a Scorpio, we've got a Leo, possibly. Like, these people cannot be trusted, okay? These people cannot be trusted, and you need to know what the T is so that you can move accordingly. Don't go accepting no people back into your energy this season <clears throat> at all. If the door, you close the door, lock that motherfucker. Psalm 91, Psalm 109. But, yeah, you need to watch these energies. So, if you want the full reading that um I did today on live and the visuals as well, tap into my YouTube so you can hear it on both ends. Um, Both are uploaded. So, the podcast should be uploaded in a few. But the, the visuals might be a little later so you can see all the cards so you can get confirmation. And, no, I'm not just talking out my ass. I did this as a live reading during the moon hour. So spirit was like really talking. Like Venus again is a day for friendships, partnerships, family, etc. So this is information that you know, you know, is essential to your being. So if you follow me, tap in so you can you can know what's up.